Get back to McDonald's. The stock was halted for trading. We happen to have the former CEO of the company with us, Ed Renzi, former McDonald's USA president and CEO. Uh, Ed, I don't think you can tell us much about the news that's going to come out about McDonald's because I don't have it yet. I, am I right? You, you, don't, you don't know what this news is? Is that correct? That's correct. And even if I... Even if I did, I couldn't tell you what it is because the SEC frowns on that kind of thing. But I do own the stock, so I'm looking forward to the answer. Okay. Let's see if it goes up or down after the news is released. Now, I want to talk to you about uh, the president's performance last night. It seemed to me, now, you're a CEO. You, you ran McDonald's USA. You were the guy. It seemed to me that the president delivered a CEO speech last night. That was the way it felt to me, uh, addressing the company, so to speak. What do you say? Absolutely. The citizens of this country are the board and the chairman of the board. And Trump is the CEO, and he delivered a magnificent speech, strategic, very carefully stated, hit the points of things that need to get done. And I'll tell you, the Democrats better get off their hands and start behaving properly, or they're going to be called obstructionists. And the Republicans better get their work clothes on and go to work and help Trump get this stuff done. Well, that's it, isn't it? The president made a terrific performance. I mean, it was very theatrical. It was very well received. But he put the ball in the Republicans' court. He said, here's where I want to go, and you have to get your act together. You've got to compromise. You've got to agree. You've got to get this thing done. I, I, would you agree with me? The ball is in their well, court. Absolutely, unequivocally, these guys are the assistant vice presidents, vice presidents. They're the ones that are supposed to get this stuff done. And they jump around and all the politically correct stuff and get to work. <laughs> Don't tell me it's going to take you two years to do this stuff. You guys get paid too much money to sit around. Oh, you're all right, Ed. We do like this stuff, I'm telling you. Now, the president has held a series of meetings at the White House with uh, the CEOs of various companies in all kinds of industries. Do you approve of that, too? Absolutely. Who's better to tell you what's going on than Harley-Davidson Motorcycle? the motorcycle of the people. And they can't sell their bikes outside the U.S. because of the tariffs. But Honda's coming in here every day. What are we going to do about it? And, and I think Trump is spot on. Do you approve of the border tax, the, the border adjustment tax, as it's called? Well, if our products are going to get taxed going into China, then they ought to get taxed. China's products ought to get taxed coming into here. And currencies will catch up in time. Okay, so you're a supporter of the border adjustment tax. You like it, Ed. Well, I wouldn't call it a tax, but I would call it a border adjustment for the great improvement of the American economy and creating jobs. Okay, I've got to ask you about Wendy's because this is right up your street. Wendy's announced earlier this week, I think, or certainly late last week, that they're going to start self-service kiosks in a thousand locations. I think that's the direct response to the $15 per hour demand of the uh, fast food industry, in the fast food workers, that is. What say you? No, no question about it. It's not only the minimum wage. It's the work rules. It's the joint employment mm -hmm. requirement now where franchisors are responsible for the labor practices of franchisees. It's all nonsense. It's over-regulation. I have said that robots are going to replace people in the service industry going forward. Hmm. And a self-service kiosk is nothing more than automation taking over people. Okay, we've got the, right now we've got the Dow Industrials at a high for the day. We're up 252 points. Ed Renzi, last word to you. Can I conclude that American business has fallen in love with Donald Trump? Oh, they're falling in love with his strategic direction and his intent. But if the Republicans and the Democrats don't get their stuff together and start executing, they will fall away just as quickly as they climbed on board. Ed Renzi, former CEO of McDonald's USA, always fired up. And thanks for joining us again, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Happy to be here.